Subscribe to Rajshree Food and click on the bell icon for more updates. Everybody loves chocolate cakes, but there are certain people like me who prefer anything but a chocolate cake. For such unique people, today I'm going to show you how to make a butterscotch cake. Let's start by adding sugar to our mixing bowl. This is regular granulated sugar. To this, I'm adding some melted butter. Give this a slight mix just so that everything gets mixed properly. To this, I'm adding some yogurt. Mix this really nicely. Our sugar has melted perfectly. Let's add our dry ingredients now. I have some flour here. Some baking powder. And baking soda. Mix this gently. Halfway through the mixing process, when we still have some dry bits of flour left around the bowl, we'll start adding some hot water. Our batter now has a very nice ribbon-like consistency. Let's scrape the sides of the bowl now. I have some aluminium pans here. I have two 8-inch pans which I've already buttered from inside. And I'm going to pour half the batter in each pan. Now let's bake this at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 30 minutes. So till our sponge is baking, let's make the praline. We're going to use brown sugar to make our praline. Let's add the brown sugar to our pan now. You can also use regular white granulated sugar. As soon as the sugar starts melting from the sides, Scrape your pan and bring it to the center. We'll continue doing this till all of the sugar has melted. Our sugar has completely melted and it has also started boiling. With brown sugar, you have to be careful that the sugar actually boils over before you add your butter. So This is about one tablespoon of butter which I'm just going to add to the pan. Switch off the heat and mix well. We're going to pour this liquid into a pan which I have buttered properly. You can use any steel plate as well if you like. We're going to let this cool completely for about 30 minutes. It will harden as it cools. Now let's make the butterscotch sauce. I'm using the same pan because it's the same ingredients. We're just going to add cream to it. So let's start by adding brown sugar to our pan. Again, we let this melt completely. Our sugar has melted and started boiling. Let's add some butter to this. Give it a mix. And then we'll add some cream. Keep mixing till the mixture stops bubbling completely. And then switch off the gas. Our butterscotch sauce is now ready. Be very careful, this is very hot. And we let this cool completely and move on to the next step. Our praline has completely cooled right now. We're going to use a pestle and crush it a bit. Just a few hits are enough. We're looking for shards like these. Just small size shards. So I'm going to keep a few big shards aside for the top of the cake. About 8 to 10 will do. And I'm going to crush the rest of these into a powder. So these are our butterscotch chunks. I've kept it a little chunky because I like the crunch that it adds to our cake. You can also crush it into a fine powder. I have also put the butterscotch sauce in a piping bag and I've whipped up some cream. 
Our sponge has cooled completely. I've let it cool for about two hours. After that, I've trimmed off the edges using a bread knife. So it's nice and level now. Let's start the assembly. I have some whipped cream here, which I'm going to use in the center of the cake. Just add a dollop full and use an angle palette knife to spread it out. Once the cream has spread, take some of your butterscotch sauce and spread it across. Let's flatten it out a little and cover it with the other sponge. Let's cover the whole cake with whipped cream now. To learn how to make whipped cream, check the link in the description box below. Now let's cover the sides also with whipped cream. Our cake is nicely covered with whipped cream now. Let's drizzle some butterscotch sauce now. Just hold your piping bag at the edge of the cake and press. It will form drips on the sides of the cake. I have some whipping cream in a piping bag with a star nozzle and I'm going to pipe rosettes around the cake now. Let's sprinkle some butterscotch bits on this now. And we'll decorate the rosettes with some shards. And that is your sweet and crunchy butterscotch cake. When you try this recipe, do let me know about your experience in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to Rajshree Food for more such recipes. See you next time.